In this video, I'll show you how to use Auto Entities card to display all the lights that are currently on and off. This is really handy when you're building dashboards. I'm using this in my own dashboard as well. I have it inside a pop-up so I can quickly see what lights are on around the house. As always, the full code can be found on the Gumroad link in the description. I will use some light sliders that I've showed how to make in a previous video, so if you want to use the same light sliders, I suggest you watch that video first. But this will work for other light cards as well. I'm going to start by adding an Auto Entities card. Here I will click the Add Filter Group button. The card should now display all your entities in a long list, but we can start filtering this down. In the Select Property dropdown, I will select Entity Domain and I'll write Light in the text box next to it. The card should now display all your lights. I just want to see the lights that are currently on. So in the Property drop box, I select Entity State and write On in the text box. Now I want to use my light slider template instead of just the toggle buttons. So I'll go into the code editor and change the card type from entities to grid. I'll select one column and set render as square to false. It's easier to do the rest of the setup in the code editor, but if we quickly go into the visual editor and type anything into the options field, it will generate the starting code for the rest of the code we need. This is where we need to add the decluttering template card. So set type to custom decluttering card and set template to your light slider template. One thing I forgot to do earlier was to set card param to cards. As soon as we do that, you can see that the grid is working. Now we just need to get the decluttering card working properly. Like normally with decluttering card, we need to define the variables. First variable will be the entity that we want to add. For this one, we need to use the auto entities specific function. Write this dot entity underscore ID. I guess this just loops through all the filtered entities. Now the sliders work, but we can also add the name and icon if we just define them as empty variables. It will then grab the icon and friendly name of those entities. If you wonder how you edit the name and icon, you can just find the light from, for example, the dev tools. Go into settings and set a new friendly name and icon. As soon as you click update, it will change in the card editor as well. This is pretty much it. But as you might be able to tell, I have a few light bulbs that are part of a group. I don't really want to display both the bulbs and the group, so I can use the exclude function to filter out those bulbs. If you have bulbs with similar names, you can use an asterisk to exclude all entities that has a similar name. Last thing I want to do now is just sort the light sliders based on when the lights were last changed. In the sorting tab in the visual editor, you can just set sort method to last change and select reverse order. And this is really it. For my own dashboard, I've created another auto entities card that just shows all the lights that are off. I've then placed these two cards into tabs. This way, I can quickly see what lights are on, and I also have the option to turn on lights from the second tab. If you're curious about how to make these tabs, I have another video that goes into detail about this. Another great feature Auto Entities has is the ability to filter by area. So if you have a similar dashboard to mine, you can very quickly add the relevant lights to your room pop-ups. I hope you found this useful. I'm currently doing a bit of restructuring in my dashboard. And I found this to be really helpful when trying to shorten the amount of cards and code. Thanks for watching. Until next time.